Hello, this is from Abiyagbo. Uh, it's been a long time that I did a, a video analysis on the markets, the forex market. I would like to uh, share with you some of my, uh, some of the currency pairs that I have on my watch list. And the first one I have here is the um, Australian dollar, I mean Euro Aussie, Euro Australian dollar. And now we can see that this is uh, this is a weekly chart, and from here there's a five wave move down, and we are seeing a uh, looks like a corrective pattern. Okay. Uh, downside I mean upward and um, uh, this correction looks like um, something like uh, probably a double, a, a double zigzag okay this is a five way move here a pullback and maybe we're going to see another move downside okay now uh, my attention is going to be on this this is uh, a triangle okay which is expected to break above here uh, going to the um, the hourly chart or let me yeah, take it to the daily chart okay here we can see that uh, this is a triangle pattern okay yeah um, a b c d he okay it's, uh, completed here the triangle is expected to completed here and then a move upside could actually happen and we saw that move um i mean the move here okay after the last uh the, the the leg uh the last leg of the triangle completed yeah we saw a, a move upside but after that we saw a corrective pattern that is getting so deep okay now this is the corrective pattern okay so after this five wave move upside this is a typical impulse where we are seeing a corrective move this is a a triangle b and then we are seeing what could be um a five wave move downside which will complete uh the leg of the correction of this impulse move so this is a b c and look at the uh this is this uh, 161.8 percent extension of a uh from b and so that was that is what is expected to form the c wave and i'm uh, looking at this this is uh, a five wave move and an expected five wave move so we're going to be patient and see that uh the fifth wave is completed here yeah? And when that is done, okay, we can now expect a break out of this channel line, and then for us to consider a, a bullish, uh, a bullish uh, trade, which could actually take uh, above these levels here, okay, above these levels, and then go high up to the roof uh, of the triangle here, uh, probably even break it and go upside. So that is a. Uh, uh, what i have for uh euro australian dollar a corrective move that is about to be completed here at um, uh, this level uh, looking at this level and if price is able to complete the last leg of this move okay which is what uh can be shown on the 15 minute chart here so this is the last leg one two three four five once that is done then we will be expecting uh a move upside okay an aggressive trader can wait for price to break above here if this move happens for price to break above here and then um, taking a buying order or wait uh, for price to break above the channel and then take a buy order as well okay the second one is australian dollar uh us dollar. this one is uh is getting um so out of hand we're expecting a price to go deeper we uh i uh, we took a sell around this level here at um um 0 0.7630 and price moved well but was not able to eat our target and then moved back to our entry and then a negative uh movement against it so uh but uh i still believe that this is uh the second wave okay and price will be expected to break below here so if price is able to break below this rising trend line here and then there's a there's still a very good stand for the bs to take control okay and take a uh, price for the downside okay down this way the considering the fact that this uh, could be uh, a double zigzag oh sorry a um, an head and shoulder formation which signals a, a reversal in chart patterns and apart from that uh, looking at the long-term view taking the long-term view rather this um, from here we could see a move a five wave impulse move downside here and then this is the fourth wave of the move okay so we're expecting the fifth wave okay if this happens then the rcus dollar is going to fall very very deeply to somewhere around 0 0.6087 or even below so after the move downside um this move here uh, sorry this move this is the, the fourth wave ended here with um 
uh, a flat pattern 335 pattern and then uh, we saw price move down and then a double zigzag here so um, we could see price uh, falling down from here okay to complete this pattern it's going to be a very sumptuous one considering the fact that it's going to be a third wave you know that third waves are very uh, often strong and uh, one of the best uh, position to be I mean to take a position one of the best uh, position to take a trade is when the um, uh, um, the first wave correct I means at the end of the second because you have some uh, very big movement downside with three and with five so that could give more than a one ratio two one ratio three risk reward uh, ratio so um, we're going to keep an eye on this a break below here a break below this trend line will, should be a very good position to take a sell with stop loss here. so if price could break below here and then move upside again to break above here it shows that uh, this pattern is going to be uh terminated okay it's going to be invalid or if price does not even break below but rather rallies for that to break above so presently we are out of the position taking a, a small like a 40 pips loss uh, from our normal uh, from the normal one that we set around uh, 125 pips uh, so good to cut the loss to uh, 40 pips so a break below here we see us entering the short again stop loss there and then targeting a uh, um, a very large move downside okay now the third one i want to show is the euro gpp um this one we took a sell trade okay around here and then we we're able to take some uh, good moves out where our target was actually around here but um due to the nature of things we had to get out of this trade because we expect uh we could see a corrective move upside before price continue moving downside so short trade was taken here they are able to take like a 180 pips or so from this trade all right what about a 180 190 200 pips we're able to take from here so we exit because of this five wave move downside because price could uh retrace upside to probably um 61.8 percent uh of this of this move before price continues downside so if price can correct here um that means that uh, we could still take uh, a very good um, selling position downside and uh, as we know that we exited this because uh, we know that if the second wave is going to hold upside then we know that the second wave used to be uh, very deep sometimes it can even correct close to 100% uh, we don't want uh, to lose all of our profit since the uh, price is just uh, some pips uh, I mean some pips above our uh, target so it's wise to just exit with something around one ratio a uh, 1.9 risk reward uh, so um it's a very good deal so we'll be expecting a uh, a five wave sorry a corrective pattern that looks like this an abc move okay an abc move that um so you can have something like this um okay something like this then we will be then looking for uh a well i mean a good pattern that completes around the 61.8 percent and then take uh a sell position okay uh, so we still have a very strong uh, bearish bias on this one and the US dollar Canadian dollar has completed a triangle here okay from here we saw a five wave move downside okay the move started uh in, uh, 2016 this year january okay this was a move that was uh, very fast and then we saw uh, this correction this call by it has been called the card has been correcting for a while now since um, um may okay may early may we've seen uh, a bit of correction all right very long one not even a bit of correction but one thing is this correction if it's going to be a real correction we expect it to come to at least uh 50 percent um of this wave so 50 percent should be around here this uh, midpoint here but uh it's still far away from me it's far away from it really far away from it even uh below the 38 point so, so we cannot say this is a, a very good correction a correction usually gets to usually at the end of an impulse wave like this you usually see a correction that gets to uh 50 percent or 61.8 percent so we i don't believe that um 
um, this correction is over yet price may still move upside and uh, this um, this label in this wave count is uh, adding to that belief and this is the first leg of the correction and we're having a triangle a b c d e completing here so from here price could rise okay rise very fast in an impulse wave one two three four five and then gets to this level here to this uh price zone here somewhere around here okay 1.36 or 1.37 so we'll be looking to take um uh, an upward position okay an upward trade and with stop loss around there it's going to be a, a long term one or uh, is it a long term or a medium term so that's going to be risking about 150 pips and then to be looking forward to get uh, you know somewhere something like um from uh, 250 the, uh, the first target should be uh, could be around uh, um, 180 190 pips and then wait for price to move upside to get something close to about 600 pips so price could move very fast there and give us a uh, something like 600 pips so this is one position that one may want to look at okay so buying around this level okay given the fact that um this is a very good um a very good engulfing candlestick uh, pattern for our candlestick pattern so shows that the uh, price has actually bottomed here so there could be a good uh, this could be a very good uh, position to take a buying holder for us dollar canadian dollar and then ride upside okay that way okay something that also like that so um i expect the australian dollar canadian dollar to move upside from this level so that is my bias on that now the card yen and the uj we uh saw um that uh price has really been uh oversold okay here so this is the third wave the fourth wave okay the waves the move actually started the one two three four okay and then this is the fifth wave here and then price has moved and uh, the fifth wave can could, uh, could also be seen as a as a five wave move downside so this is the fourth one two three four five it was this uh, we took we took a trade around there and we're able to take uh close to like um <clears throat> uh, 180 190 200 pips from here okay both around here and then price moved uh upside okay so but one thing is this uh the question now is will price continue to move downside or uh, or should i say that um is the fifth wave actually complete that's a very uh, big question okay uh, is the fifth wave this fifth wave is it complete yet or we're going to just have uh, a this is this is the wave one with two wave three wave four so if this is the wave four of this wave five it will actually mean that there could still be a five wave move down set to give us wave one with two with three with four and then um the fifth wave to come around there well it's possible but if you look at this uh sometimes when uh wave one is extended with three is extended like this we often see the first wave and the fifth wave uh forming a kind of uh, equality which is what we are having here okay a kind of equality okay close to equality probably um uh, close to equality so we may have something like that here as well so we're looking at um okay something around here uh, from here okay so something like equality right like a kind of a equality uh which is going to end around here but uh price may still uh, may still go downside the price may still go downside but um we are not going to we're going to be neutral for now and we're going to wait for a very good uh, position so if this is um if presence is if the fifth wave has actually been formed here then we should expect price not to break below here because after this fifth wave we're expecting a five wave move upside now there are two things the fourth wave here is not does not give us a very a, a, a corrective pattern this is more impulsive than correct so we may not take this as a fourth wave unless we see uh something consolidate uh, consolidatory in nature like uh a triangle formed here or a flat that is a a b c d e before price uh you know move upside or just a b c a flat pattern before price move upside okay or i mean a uh, price should just be uh 
make should be contained above here and then form a consolidatory pattern before we can take this as a fourth wave before we can believe that um, uh, the upward move has actually started and the fifth wave has ended there but um, um, if that does not happen and price breaks below here the first wave that means that has violated the five wave impulse move so we cannot take this as um, an ABC correction okay believing that um, that this wave is going to be the first wave of the of the fifth wave of this uh, of this degree I mean one two and then we're going to see more move downside so it's very possible if price um, breaks below here one and um, uh, also looking at this uh, this one here Oh, well, it's not useful. Well, I don't, let me see if that is this uh, channel line is going to be useful here. Uh, I want to okay uh, here and also if price could break below this channel line, so we'll not uh, take a sell position or a buying position. We'll wait for price to violate this uh, the first wave. I mean the five wave move, the expected five wave move upside. So if price is able to violate that by breaking here, then we'll label this as uh, a b uh, c um label it as a a b c and then and then we can now wait for price to break below it and then wait for a good correction okay around maybe 61.8 percent and then uh, look for a sell opportunity there okay so that is uh, the plan we're having for a uh, card dm okay the same thing almost good for US dollar japanese yen uh waiting for we also took a a buying position here taking about uh, more than um, about that about 300 about 250 300 pips uh, from this uh, buying trade we took that and um, mm, let me try to remove some of these uh, uh, complicated things uh, like complicated things let me try to remove some of them okay now looking at this uh, this level here from here this is on the weekly chart look at this uh, counter trend line breakout pullback okay uh, we saw this move throughout uh, throughout um, you know, throughout uh, from 2011 so a five wave move and then we saw the first uh, move downside we could see uh, because I don't think this is the real this is the uh, I don't think the correction cannot still go below but this level here okay this level this um um is this support now yes yeah, support level you see is such a very strong level that uh, um we, we, we couple with this shows this level is so strong and we don't expect uh we, we expect price to move higher than this all right we expect it to move higher than this and if we look at the one hour chart or the hourly chart we saw uh, the last move here as a five wave move one, two, three, four, five. They bought a position here, exit around here, and now we are seeing a correction. Okay, now this correction is uh, probably, um, uh, it has corrected to um, a 61.8 percent here. It's a correction here. So there could be a buying opportunity around here. Uh, given the fact that this is also uh, a a zigzag pattern okay a zigzag pattern and um uh, if you look at uh the extension from here to here oh uh, it's so long it should be around um, let me add some level is it to 61.8 um is it to 61.8 now uh, is it, uh, within this 261.8 percent level uh, level uh i will uh, probably bring this uh, so this level here uh, so price is already here trying to uh, reject it but if you look at this this could also be uh, a five wave move you see that it could also be a five wave move something like this one two three four oh, five uh so uh, we have to be very patient so that we can see um what price is actually going where uh, he's telling us here 
So uh, that is, I don't think there is any, uh, I don't have more, apart from the fact that price correct to 61.8% of this move, I don't have uh, any other uh, convincing parameter for me to say that, okay, that should be a buying opportunity around there because this could be a five wave move as uh, this uh, labeling has shown. So I'll wait um, for price to, to move and then wait for a, a correction, okay, a, a, a very good move upside and then a correction this way before I, I enter the buying order or if price breaks below here, trade the correction, okay, because that's even a possibility that um, the, uh, despite um, um, this, um, this thing here, okay, this support, we could still see price trying to break below here a bit because this is the weekly chart price could break a, a below this level here and then rise up again okay uh, so we can uh, base our judgment only on this uh, trend line counter trend line price could pierce it a bit and then move upside so that shows that uh, we could still we could have uh, a five wave move a pull back and then further move downside to before we now see a move upside but at this moment i think um that uj used like japanese yen is way overbought sorry oversold so a move upside is that uh, is really really imminent okay but uh, from a short time point of view okay we could see a 5 wave move here and then trade the uh, pullback okay trade the correction and uh, if price could move convincingly here, a five wave move upside like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because if this is going to be the fourth, we expect um, a kind of corrective uh, pattern. But if you see a five wave move upside, an impulse wave, or maybe a leading diagonal, there will not be, uh, we'll be expecting price to correct to 61.8% before we now take uh, a buying or uh, a trade. Um, or otherwise, if price moves this way, complete this five, it could be that price is going to go deeper. So we're still going to buy a uh, correction. So we're looking at a uh, buying US dollar Japanese yen uh, for now on the uh, very short term uh, view. And then Australian dollar, Canadian dollar is another very interesting um, currency pair. After spotting this um, uh, this five wave impulse move, okay, from here. Okay, ending around this uh, very strong level here, and uh, we were not able to take this trade actually, it was a very painful one. So, uh, a five wave move is a very typical five wave pattern that I love trading so much. So, it ended here and then price res uh, responded to me. So, we could still have a deep corrective, uh, a deep correction to probably 61.8% uh, around here. Okay. 61.8% uh, somewhere around there. So, uh, presently now, price is uh, correcting. Okay, price is uh, correcting. This is a typical corrective pattern. And what kind of pattern is that? It's, it's uh, like a double zigzag. This is the first zigzag. This is W. This is X. And we are, may have the second zigzag ending at 61.8% uh, a correction around here. And then we can then look for a... Um, a selling opportunity around here okay and then riding down to this uh, level with stop loss high above here so um or wait for a a, a breakout of a triangle or, or i mean of uh, the trend line that that is formed here or that we're going to draw here okay something like this a b c and then wait for a uh, <coughs> a break below this level so if price is able to break below this level, then we can then put our stop loss here and then uh, target, uh, put our target here. So that's going to be a very good risk reward ratio. Right? So um, that is where I'm going to stop uh, for now. I have uh, six, okay, seven of them on my watch list. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I am Sami Abdi Agbo. You can uh, visit my uh, blog. Um, www.forexsniper.blogs uh, sorry forexsnipersignals.com uh, or you can join uh, our Skype uh, trade room which where we analyze the market and we also trade uh, market positions okay so thank you very much uh, I will see you some other times okay bye